Hello and happy holidays. Welcome to Tales of Terramir. We are here to play through episode 38 of our campaign. Uh, visit our website at talesofterramir.com to find links to all of our episodes and our social media. We're on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, threads, and Facebook, where we're sharing clips and videos every single week. And for our annual holiday episode tonight, we are accepting donations to the Doctors Without Borders Charity Foundation. Doctors Without Borders uh, provides emergency aid and medical care around the globe, um, aiding in humanitarian uh, crises like those in Gaza and Ukraine. Um, we'd love to hit our goal of $100 tonight. If you could spare $1, $5, whatever, 100% of the money raised goes directly to helping those in need. You can donate by clicking the Donate to Charity icon on our Twitch page. Also, we have another announcement. Um, tonight, we're officially playing on a new platform. We've switched from Roll20 to the Foundry Tabletop. So uh, please be patient with us as we adjust to this new format. We've done some tests, but um, it is a new format for us. Uh, so just to shout that out. Um, but it will be a huge improvement for us, visually and audibly, I believe, for, for us, the players, and for you, the viewers and listeners. All right, we're going to get back into our adventures in Tales Terror. going to go over a recap from our previous session. Uh, with time running out in the elven city of wonders, Varndrell, the heroes known as the soul survivors, <laughs> Rasik needed to steal the ebon jewel uh, from... Uh, oh, thank you, OK Kirkwood, for the first donation. Um, Rasik needed to steal the ebon jewel from a nobleman, an elf named Nestorin Olaf from his mansion in the Tannethill Ward. As the adventurer stood on the outside of his estate, the Pangenian thief made a second connection with his companions and made his way into the hidden entrance uh, through the city sewer tunnel. Navigating through the dark tunnels past a growth of heat-stealing brown mold, Razik entered into the mansion cellar, he managed to masterfully stealth uh, his way past numerous guards and up the stairs to Nestoran's private library. Inside, he searched the desk and discovered a journal that mentioned the soul survivors, as well as writings about a mysterious woman matching the description of the succubus, Lanira. He discovered the secret door behind the bookshelf as he was informed by his contact, Malta. Searching the numerous books and scrolls that lined the shelves, Raz spotted a green leather-bound book uh, titled The Whisper, which held the key to the secret door. After unlocking it, he found a shallow passage leading to a velvet door. Searching for traps, but not finding anything, he stepped forward and onto a previously unseen panel, which opened a trap. A black powder rifle that emitted a loud, painful scattershot blast toward the thief. The sound surely alerted the guards. Moving quickly, Rez moved into the small chamber, uh, which held numerous treasures, including a glass case with a black onyx-like crystal. With no time to think, he found a trap around it, a series of magical runes, which he disabled with his thieves' tools. Uh, grabbing the jewel, he shot back to the library and made his way through its window back to the outside. As guards began to swarm the estate, Razik successfully snuck away and returned to his companions. As the group moved from the area, it was now up to Razik to decide. Should he keep the jewel, give it to the crooked jeweler, Arlen? 
or transfer it to his own people at Pangene and Contact in the Reuben War. After debating and changing minds several times, he finally decided to give it to his people. The party made their way to the Enchanted Emperor's Bazaar, discovering the contact to be none other than Ulfira Ravenwood, the woman who rescued them from the prisoner wagon where they all met for the first time. Over a month ago. Only a month in the game. Not crazy. She was surprised to see them all still alive. Uh, despite hearing tales of their endeavors since she left their presence. Though her knowledge was limited around her initial capture, she seemed to imply that their memories may have been magically wiped by the Empire. Razak handed her the heaven jewel, and the party headed toward the city harbor to take their leave. More and more Imperial soldiers seemed to be patrolling the streets, but they stealthily navigated to Lushtip, uh, the Kestrel. However, upon arrival, they found they'd walked into an, am an ambush. A Minotaur knight and a band of Imperial guards and archers announced their arrest, which the heroes refused to accept. As a battle began, supposed uh, crew members of the ship, a dwarf, a half-orc, and a human captain, moved to defend the sole survivors as well as undock the ship for an escape. Fighting their way through the guards and the powerful Minotaur, the adventurers inched toward the ship. Savamel found himself lingering behind, but as he began to dart towards his friends, a fiery portal opened up beside him. He peered through the portal and looked back, torn between two choices. With a saddened face, however, he stepped into the magical gate, which closed behind him. With no time to question or consider what occurred, the rest of the soul survivors boarded the river ship. Gemma activated her divine spectral wings Flying to the deck, she dealt the final killing blow to the Minotaur, unleashing a powerful blast that destroyed the dock beneath them. The river, the river below, swallowing them. As the Kestrel escaped from the harbor, the remaining guards scattered along the river to other vantage points. Anton looked at the shrinking city behind him, spotting a single silhouette against the flaming destruction. His old mentor. That's where we left off. Do they hold gazes the whole time as we're... He, yeah. on the ship? he sees the silhouette of, of, of his old mentor that, after a beat, turns and disappears. I think and I'm getting a visual of Jon Snow staring at the, the Snow King. <laughs> <laughs> they pull a lot away. Like that. A lot the like exact that. same energy. <laughs> We, we pick up where we left off uh, on the ship. You are on the Kestrel, on the deck. Your health is the same. Your stats are the same. But we find ourselves on the deck of the Kestrel. And you find that there are more members of the crew who have come out um, to introduce themselves. Uh, the captain is currently steering the ship away and as you see Varn Drill and the lights of the city disappear, darkness suddenly the darkness of the night begins to take over. Um, you see this um uh furball. Uh, he has a staff that he alights with this magical light. And uh now you can all see the what's before you. What do you do? Y'all, we, we need to turn back. We, we forgot Savamil. You didn't see? I mean, I, I saw him walk into some magic thing, but what if he's still there? What if... We don't know. What if we left him? It seemed like he went willingly. Just I think for, he's just... You know, the heat of battle. He's probably just goofing off. He's probably on the side of the ship. Somewhere in the water, swimming alongside us. Check the bow. Can we check the bow on the ship and see if he's <laughs> he's doing his little dolphin Dolphin-y. thing? Yeah, whatever. there he is, <laughs> guys. He's fine. <laughs> Seeing no, you all know. sort of uh, talking here, you see um, uh, a dwarf comes forward. Um, uh, are you all right? Everything okay? Thanks to fine. you, love guys. Here, help. Thank you. 
What about that one woman on the ballista? Is she okay? I saw her take a really big hit. Uh, you can see over here is Zuri, the uh, Zuri Windcaller, the half orc um, uh, who had been struck. It's got uh, kind of holding her wounds a bit. There's this halfling that steps forward. And she goes, uh, Yes, hi. Uh, good to meet you. Everything great. Um, oh, jeez. Uh, goes over to Zuri and uh, cast Cure Wounds on her. She, she kind of turns this sort of smaller, uh, obviously a half, halfling female, um, turning towards you. Seems a bit feisty. Uh, Can you say she's person. adorkable? She's pretty, she's, if you would call adorkable, yes. Uh, she goes, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Callowin. Uh, everything okay? You guys good? You look a little hurt. Kind of pointing over at Raz and over at Anton. Could you use some help? Um, Raz actually kind of blushes, uh, immediately being spitted by her exuberance. And he's just like, no, I'm, I'm fine. Even though he's clearly very hurt. I imagine um, just can, like I several think gaping wounds. Help if you if you can spare it. He's not very good at it. Help my him. friend first. It's not get my back here. I can yeah. I can also try to help um, noticing that Anton is also very hurt. I'll do some uh, lay hands on him. I'll take help wherever I can get it. Yeah, me too. I can't uh, just try to put out a right face. Oh yeah, you're pretty hurt, and Anton's pretty hurt. Callan cast like uh, healing on Razak. Oh, look at those graphics! Oh, <laughs> it's the start of the the new form format here. Yes, for where, healing where, where? for you, Raz. <laughs> so you also cast it on to Zuri. Does it automatically apply that, or do you bother? Uh, you would have to add it yourself. Right-click your token, and you can adjust your health mm -hmm. there. Okay. And how much do I add? Uh, you took. You got four. Four healing. Okay. Thank you. And Zuri got. Wow, I am quite hurt. <laughs> Try to also. Oof. I give uh, Anton uh, eight. Um, Eight healing from my ability. I am at 30 HP after that boost. <laughs> yeah, that was a rough battle. There was, I'm not sure if you saw the Minotaur out there. Yeah, you took a couple of big heads too. Are you sure you're okay? Not really, but I'm gonna live. Live to fight another day, brother. That's what it's all about. Um, what would you say your name was again, Miss? Um, she like looks down to the halfling. Yeah, well, she looks up. Callowin, Callowin, Miss Brooke. Callowin, Callowin. I'm I'm Willow. Willow Catawistle. She puts her hand out. She... Nice to meet you. She puts both hands around your your kind of big dra uh, dragonborn hand and just shakes it with both hands. <laughs> oh. Thank you all so much for for saving us. I mean, if you guys weren't there, I don't know what we would have done. We had no idea those guys were going to be there. Yeah, we didn't we didn't expect all, all that to happen. And uh, Philadel steps in and goes, "Oh, we certainly weren't, but glad to have you aboard of the Kestrel. I am uh, I'm Philadel. Call me Phil." Um, I'm the first mate. Right there, you've just met Callowin. She's our surgeon. Uh, Zuri, you I kind of met over there. She's our bosun. And uh, the one that fell over there holding the, the staff, the quiet one, you can just see the the uh, sort of blue furred and brown bearded uh, uh, fur bald. Alkali. Uh, that's Alkali. He kind of raises his stuff, seems a little bit shy. Um, 
And then you see this sort of hulking turtle kind of step forward. And I'm Tet. Call me Tet. I'm the ship's cook. Hi, Tet. I know you guys just introduced yourselves, but could you all introduce yourself again so I could write you down faster? Um, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, their right. names. It was Phil, their, uh... Elk, Elklear, they have, they Tet. Have names under their tokens. Okay. You can also hover over their names or over their tokens and you should be able to see those. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You you all took a, a a big risk in helping us. So I'm guessing you're not very sympathetic with the Empire. No, not really, lad. Yeah, not really our thing. We're kind of our own, kind of belong to each other, we like to say. We're um, adventurers, much like yourselves. <clears throat> kind of just do what we need to do. The gold came calling for this. Take you uh, across to the border, it seems. Well, seems as good a job as any. That'd be amazing. We'd really appreciate it. You know that you guys are putting your neck out on the line too, so anything mm -hmm. we can help with, let us know. Seconded. <clears throat> it's been service with a smile ever since before we got we'll on be deck. <laughs> I think we'll all be stronger, more able to help if we uh, are able to take a, a rest on your ship. From the uh, sort of upper stair quarter deck, you see uh, the captain, the human captain. You'd seen <clears throat> kind of previously in the scuffle before. He goes, and I am Captain Callus. He kind of walks up with a bit of a, a swagger in his step. He's got like this long kind of trench coat, handsome human male, um, longer hair, beard, young, seems... Uh, cocky but uh nice and excited mm. kind of puts his hand around uh his arm around phil the dwarf kind of looks down at him pats him on the shoulder kind of gives him a squeeze you can tell that they're kind of close yes. i'm captain callus you can call me ang yorn it's my first name captain callus captain whichever you prefer welcome to the kestrel Thanks. Phil, um, you'll see them aboard. Make sure they get to the rooms. And I'll take over for the ship until you're ready. Phil goes, all right, Captain. Yep, <clears throat> this way. The captain kind of goes back over to the to steer the ship. And Phil, the dwarf, kind of signals, I'll take you to your rooms if you're ready. How, how do you guys know we're not going to be followed? Do do they not have any boats um, for the Empire in the harbor? I think we're far enough away out. Plus it's nighttime. I think we might have lost them at this point. We'll keep our eye out, though. It might be best to keep you perhaps under the main deck for now. We're passing by as a simple traveler ship. Shouldn't bother us unless we run into any trouble. Okay, great. Yeah, lead the way. All right, come this way. Starts uh, heading towards the center of uh, just below where the steering wheel of the ship is. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can navigate down there and take the stairs down. Nice. As Willa goes down, she's going to like tap on the top of the wood up there, and she's going to be like, good night, Captain. And she goes down. Here, uh, oh, have a good night. It's kind of indiscernible because of the wind and everything, but you hear kind of a reply back. Down into the lower deck of the ship, um, he says, Oh, yes, uh, come right in here, uh, right down to the stairs, uh, just to your left if you come down. That's the, uh, that's where you do your personal business. This way, hey, this right here, he kind of comes over and there's this, um, this area where there's like a sitting area, a table and chair and some stools. 
It's where we like to hang out, relax. Um, just down the hallway to the left over here is, uh, well, that's where uh, Tet likes to hang out. That's the kitchen. That's his space. If you follow me this way, and he kind of goes around the ship. You come into this main portion here, points down to the, uh, the little ladder that's there on either side. That's down to the hold. That's where most of us crew stay down, keep our supplies down there. Don't think you'll need to worry about that. But this way, and he opens up these double doors. I bet you saw the mills downstairs. <laughs> I hope so. I bet you that's where I teleported. Manage your expectations. Denial. Mm -hmm. It's the, the first stage. So full of surprises. Kind of steps forward and then turns around and points at the doors. You see there are four doors and he goes, room for each of you. Your choice. Yeah. Where do you guys sleep? Oh, as I said, uh, we sleep down in the hold. Oh, right. Gotcha. We got a, a few rooms down there for the crew, but these are where our guests stay. So we've got four rooms. One bed per, per room. So you can make yourselves at home for now and well, when you're ready, come back and meet me. I'll probably be having a nail at the table over there that I showed you. And uh, we can talk some more if you'd like. I'll let you That's settle nice. in. Really great. An Anton is speaking your language. <laughs> and he he kind of goes off. I think Phil and I are going to be friends. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he's lovely. Uh, well, I guess we take a room. I don't, I don't care which one. I just need to lie down for a minute. <laughs> Push my intestines back in my stomach. Push your intestines. <laughs> um, I'll take this one. Well, it goes into the front left. No, back left of the boat. Bottom right. I'll take this one over here. Bumping into walls, trying to find a room. Me too. Uh, okay. Right here, right here, guys. Here, I, I'll, I'll open the doors for you. There you go. Oh, there you go. Thank you. And yeah, I, just that door right I'll, there. I'll help Anton hobble into his room. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Don't don't Not need to get really. the surgeon. We did lose a lot of blood. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, maybe you should just lay down after your ale. You know. Uh, how about before? Before you're ill. Right. Okay. <laughs> Call room service. They don't have room service. Should we, do, should we try to rest here and then uh, meet up with the guys later? Or I, I'm good either way. Yeah, no, either. we could have a, a dinner on the Lido deck and <laughs> pretty much do whatever we want. Yeah, it's like a cruise ship. Maybe. <laughs> Got nothing else to do but sleep, drink, and walk around. See some shows. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they have shows here? Maybe that's what the hold is. Oh, Haven't you seen enough shows? <laughs> I I'm yeah, the, last the time we now, saw a show. That one was okay. You know? <laughs> it's not what I expected. Died. I'm sure they so got better. Of the cast died. But I'm definitely bit by the bug, so something <laughs> exploded, I'm pretty sure. Um Yeah, I mean, Anton, if you feel like you need a rest, then maybe you should rest. Uh, I think they said that it's going to take us like three days at least to get there. So I'm sure there will be plenty of time for drinking. It's important that we make time. You can take your long rest now, <laughs> or, or you can, can take, uh, we can <laughs> take a short <laughs> rest and then. Right. right. Uh, fortunately, to the to the to the person who gave <laughs> since channel points to, to for the inspiration for the boat the boat doesn't can't get uh inspiration <laughs> i think that's thank more you for the thought inspiration for drinking maybe on the boat they don't want us to long rest they want us to drink sing some, <laughs> sing some shanties or something zipa Z says i refuse i'm inspired by the boat oh, i'm glad <laughs> <laughs> Can we get it for like one boat base save? Uh, you could. Oh, well, let's say we'll we'll have that as a general pool inspiration. Anyone can pull from it. Whoever wants it first uh, when it's needed. 
<laughs> I fight Razak. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm getting inspiration. <laughs> um, yeah, so are you all just calling it a night? or? I guess like to... so. Yeah? Call um, what's okay. the... The ear doesn't work until tomorrow. Is that right? Correct. Till dawn. Okay. Til did we dawn. use it today? Yeah. We did use it earlier. To no, did we? Was that the day before yesterday? It was today that you used it last. Oh, because this morning we fought. It's been no. a long day. It's been a oh. really long day. Yeah. We've had several years. The, the ear doesn't refresh until dawn. I'm just trying to remember the last time we use it, but I mean, it's only a couple hours from now. Something tells me, um, what's the guy's name? The Druid's name. I'm sorry. Weirinthar. Weirinthar doesn't feel like talking now. I guess. <laughs> we well, can't use. The oh, ear, oh, so. I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, um, but maybe um, I'll. If I can use it later, that'd be that'd be great. No, absolutely. Left. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I don't. It's a shame that we had to leave so soon before you could settle up with him. But I guess yeah. we just ran out of time. He also hear, flew like, away. So you hear this like creaking of the floor, and you turn, and you see Phil goes. Didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> I just want to let you know uh, there was someone who came by before that. Uh, uh, we put their their backpack on our ship. Um, it's down in the hold. Not sure who it belongs to, but it's, you're welcome to it. Saw the mill? Check it for a bomb. I don't know. Whoever whoever dropped off their stuff at the boat. Um, it was saw the mills. It was saw the mills. It was it's very mills. nice of you to. Uh, saw the mills is on the, the ship. Pick that up later. Thank you, God. Thank you. <laughs> stuff. You could just take the um, take, take the ladder down. It's with the supplies. Um, oh, all maybe right, I can well, get that 10 gold he owes me. <laughs> can I get you anything? It seems you're settling in for, for tonight, yeah? Do you have any bandages? My friend, it looks pretty, he's still pretty bad. I think he's still bleeding. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll send, um, I'll send uh, Callowin down. Should, should Please, thank you. Get you right up. Both, my, both of these guys, they still look pretty bad. So, Will, are you right. okay? <clears throat> Oh, what am I? I'm uh, I'm a little iffy. Oh wow, I'm, I'm actually iffy. a lot more hurt than I thought I was. I think I'm okay. Yeah, both of us are kind uh, of. Ugh. Maybe we should rest. Ugh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's just rest. I was like, I feel fine. No I don't want to be rude, guess, but yeah, I think we should probably just take a sleep. Take a sleep. Yeah, I'm sure they understand. Um, and it's pretty late at night, right? It's like after midnight. Not after midnight. No, it's um, it's pretty late. It's like probably ten, eleven. Gotcha. Callan comes in. Goes, hi. Hey Someone there. needs some patching up. No, so Callan goes and she gives a few bandages to Anton and Razik. Um. All right. Well, hope you all get some rest. We can talk some more tomorrow. But uh, enjoy good. the beds and yeah. Get yourself some rest. We've got things taken care of here. Gee. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yep. And Todd laid down and like put his weapons next to him and stuff like that. Just you sure you're gonna be okay? I'm just next door, so let yeah, me know I, if you need any uh, I, I think I'm gonna go to bed for once without sharpening my blades first. <laughs> You must be you okay. How, how are you? <laughs> you look like you took a, a bit of damage yourself. Um, surprisingly, I feel all right. I mean, I'm a little bit hurt, but I mean, it's not. It's kind of the sort of thing that we've been getting into, right? Yeah, I've been getting into, and you've been. Um, you've been growing stronger every day. I. I I think you're stronger than me at this point. Maybe in some ways, not all. Well, I'm certainly proud. Thanks. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, just just get some rest, okay? You too. 
I don't know. I'll walk out and close the door. <laughs> and everyone else, all right. You know, I took a lot of emotional damage when South Mill walked through that portal. Yeah, we're not we're not exactly sure what happened, but But we may have to face that later. Sure. Let's worry about stuff one thing at a time, probably. Yeah. After I mean, if it makes you feel better, after the next day or two, we should probably try to talk to him through the air too and see that at least that he's okay. That would put my heart at ease. And also make me feel better about our path forward and our destination. Well, sure. We're just, we're just going to have to be more careful now, huh? Yeah. We spend all our loot on uh, healing potions. <laughs> potions of healing. All right, let's catch some Shedai. Did we look through? Um, did we look through Sabi's bag already? No, we, we did not. I was okay. going to say we left it for tomorrow. <laughs> we're, okay, no, it's right. too um, it's too intense emotionally right now. We we found out that it was going to take us like three or four days to get to where we need to be. About three days max is what three we're days. Saying. Okay, yeah. Let's just let's worry about the, about all that later. If you guys don't mind. Yeah, let's check it out tomorrow. Maybe there's a clue to where he went in his back. Oh, yeah. yeah, maybe we can look for letters to like his his extended family. Might be something. Yeah. Make sure guys deliver those letters. Leaning in the doorway here. Do what? In the doorway? I picture Raz leaning in the doorway here because that's where he's standing. Well, I, I am like leaning in the, that's what I was going for. I kind of have like the door cracked open and like I'm holding my side. He's doing that thing <laughs> where he's like, like okay, okay. Right I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Okay, bye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I took a lot of arrows back there. <laughs> it's just bleeding on the floor behind the door. <laughs> I took like four to five arrows. You okay? You look pretty pale. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm great. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. I'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah, get some shut eye, y'all. Well, a headster room. Love it. Okay. Sorry, I'm not sure if I shut my door or not. The door's open still. <laughs> so that's there sign for Halloween. Thank you. I was on the wrong thing. His arms going down. <laughs> he doesn't know. My door. He's trying to open, close the door with his. <laughs> All right, door is closed. All right. Um. So, everyone's going. Anyone? Any? Anything that anyone wants to do before long rest? Just ready for the long rest. Will is going to write yeah. in her journal as she has to bed, counting for everything that happened today. You won't believe what happened today. <laughs> Sovereign's <laughs> gone. <I'm sorry. laughs> and she tries she tries writing brand. soul survivors. S O L She's like, I don't even cross I don't even I don't even cross that up like the As you begin to settle into your rooms too, um, you are you feel the rocking of the ship, you know, on the river. It's it's fairly calm. It's a river. There's not a lot of uh, waves or activity, but there's still the swaying that you have to get used to. And uh, you see a very short, small bed in each of your rooms with um, modest bedding. Each room has um, a lit candle inside, and um, and you have you see a shelf where you can place some things. As you start to get accustomed to it and settle in, get to go onto your beds and begin to think about the events that have happened over today. All the events that happened so much today. Now you're finally 
gone. You've left Bondro. Um, you begin to all fall asleep, drifting off into your dreams. And Willa, as you drift off, your body slowly adapting to the swaying of the ship as it moves along the Magalor River. The rhythmic movement syncs with the flopping, the flapping of wings. They begin to manifest in your dreams. The now familiar dream you seem to experience every night now. You are seen through the eyes of a dragon with amethyst purple scales, but you're in pain. You feel as if your mind itself is being drained of its energy and a shocking affliction vibrates through your body. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Um, looking for it. Um, you can just click on your wisdom and it should bring up a ability check or wisdom. So, oh, okay. That's nice. Okay. I do love this foundry character sheet. There we it's go. Very cool. 14. Okay. You. It seems to almost become overwhelming, but you almost in your mind, you recognize these dreams coming to you, You're almost self aware, and you again push them off and they fade away and you begin to sleep peacefully. Um, we go to Anton. It's very late at this point. Um, Anton, you're finding it difficult to fall asleep tonight. Tossing and turning in your bunk, trying to keep yourself from getting motion sick from the movement of the ship on the water. You stand and look out, eventually standing up and look out your small window that's in your room. And you can see the white moon of Rhea shining full tonight. It's white light reflecting brightly off the river's surface. The light begins to suddenly grow brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until it seems like it's completely daytime out. You're closing your eyes, but how could that be? It's, it's suddenly so bright you can't even look outside. And the blinding light suddenly completely fills your room. Until, like that, it's dark again. You're left standing there, contemplating what just happened. Um, looks around the room for any signs of something that could have caused this. Looks outside at the moon kind of suspiciously. Uh, rubs his eyes. <laughs> uh, must uh, must be oh, must be hallucinating. I really need to get to sleep. Um, yeah, uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. Let's click on perception. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> So do I need to click on my token first? No, I got it. Um, there are certain things, um, certain roles for moving forward that will be private to you all. Mm. We'll know the okay. results, but I will huh? convey what you see. Perception skills okay. being one of them. Um, you don't notice anything. Nothing different. It seems very odd. You feel you're awake. Maybe you're Anton. just exhausted. Anton, something in his mind kind of goes back to the uh, statue of Sah Sahanin. 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 Um, Sahanin, the lunar goddess that he saw a while back and gave him a good feeling. And kind of smiles a little bit before he drips off. Right. With that, you all can long rest. You can click the L rest button on your sheet and make sure you have the check mark that says it's a new day. 
it is indeed a new day. Do we need to click on ourselves prior to resting? I'm going to just because I'm paranoid, but um, do we need to? I don't think you need to, but maybe do it just in case. As the sun rises, The candles in your room have gone out for the night, and it is daylight. Well, well Razzy says we're on a boat, so I'm sorry, Willa. Oh, no, I'm just saying Willa will step outside. Yeah. What were you saying about we're on a boat? Um, I was do you not remember <laughs> we got on here last night. We you are must on a have boat. had a long night. <laughs> no, um, but I was gonna say we're on a boat, and then I turn to Anton as he steps out of his room. Is like good excuse to get drunk immediately. <laughs> I go for some day drinking myself, feeling feeling better, even though I didn't sleep very well. Oh, wh why not? Just because of the pain? Yeah, must have been the pain. I believe you. Is Gemma awake? Did anybody else dream about Salvamil? Yeah, I'm right here. Because I, I didn't. <laughs> no, actually. I can't lie, guys. I've, I I dreamt about him. Are you going to be okay? I'm sure he's I don't fine. know. I don't know. I miss him. Also, I don't know if I'm actually going to be okay. I, last night, I just replayed all of our past battles and how likely we were to have died without him. Like, Savnil not being with us is a legitimate safety hazard for our group. And I'm also concerned about, like, I love him, the, the glorious fishman that he is, but I'm also worried about us and, and the version of us that has to live with him not being here. Well, Anyone? we're sure we're capable of taking care of ourselves, too. We just have to be a little bit more careful, right? I mean, you've been on plenty of missions and haven't died yet, surprisingly, right? You can be as careful as you need to be, but sometimes you still need a doctor. And none of us are a doctor. Well, just have a little bit more faith in us. I do. I think that we'll rise to meet it. But that doesn't change the fact that I, I didn't sleep either last night that well. Sure, yesterday was a long day. I didn't sleep that well. Anyone else? Anyone else feeling angry? At Savamo <laughs> for abandoning us without a word? Well, we don't well, let's, know. Let's look through his backpack together. Like, j just to see if there's letters or something. Like, no. Let's, or... Why don't we grab it on the way up to the deck, or to the, the galley, and we'll Go searching through it over breakfast. Also, guys, like, um, sorry, Mike, were you done? I'm oh, sorry, uh, uh, Gemma, were you done? Yep. Um, guys, do you get the sense that these, like, this ship screw is Polly? Is anybody else getting that vibe? Is that just me? Am I projecting that out onto this crew? <laughs> Polly. Oh, well, oh, sorry, Gemma. <laughs> so Gemma and Willa. Uh, Anton, explain polyamory to Gemma and Willa. <laughs> that's that's oh, your job. Uh, your dad. <laughs> man, your your mind's going through a lot. <laughs> Get some I mean, food in you and calm down. <laughs> some stuff happens out there. trying to replace Tommy. Just, well, I'm just saying, like, you know, my cultural values are a little bit different because, you know, I just kind of free floatingly can like intermingle my mind with other people's minds. And so like intimacy for me is different. You hear this sort of <clears throat> heavier steps on the wood creaking towards you and you look over and you can see Tet the turtle. Oh, good morning. How uh, did you all sleep last night? Good morning, Tet. Oh. Excellent, Tet. Thank you. Appreciate you guys so much. Got breakfast for you at the on the table uh, over there. If you'd like to eat anything, 
made some nice uh, breakfast fish and uh, potatoes and and uh, in, in fried uh, collard greens. Oh, sounds oh, like wow. solid. Oh, oh, what's a breakfast fish? I'm just very curious about what I don't know. <laughs> the difference between a breakfast and dinner fish. Chose the wrong time to ditch this group because I'm having fish for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> You're losing his <laughs> fish. He'd be, in heaven. Well. He'd be in heaven with me. Yeah. Our uh, friend would love that. Willa, will you come down with the fish to the galley or to the, the hold with me to get uh, the backpack just so I'm not alone? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's travel together. Be safe. We'll be right back, y'all. Right. Oh, don't miss breakfast. Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey there, Calvin. Let's go down to the hold area. Um. Well, is the is the hold separate from this table where we're going to be eating breakfast? I thought they were peeling off for a minute. Uh, the hold is downstairs, so some of them went downstairs. I'm sorry, I just got really excited when I saw an interactable thing on the map. That's my B. I'm gonna go back upstairs. It's like, wow, this ladder is really high quality. I think just Gemma and um, Willa went down for now. You see, um, Callowin, she seems to be uh, like sort of preparing a bag and just you know, doing some things on the ship turns because. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Sleep okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure did. So great. <clears throat> this is my first time I've... sleeping on a boat, actually. Oh, yeah? Same oh, here. well, we, we do it a lot, yeah. obviously. Oh, yeah, clearly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, not, it's well, not too bad. Uh, we've, got, we've got hammocks on our side. She kind of opens up the doors. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. We've got hammocks. Oh, rocks really we well. Swing a little better. Yeah. Sometimes people say, you know, people say it, it, it can be more comfortable than the bed. Some people swear by the beds. That's the standard way for the guests. But uh, yeah, well, we get used to the hammocks. Anyway, uh, what brings you down down here in the, in the hold? Um, before we took off, uh, one of our friends left his bag with the crew um, and they said that it would be down here uh, he's not with us right now so we were gonna just take possession of his things and um, hold on to oh for him. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, the the backpack right yeah that i think it's right over there and she kind of points by this barrel and you can see there's something else backpack leaning up against it oh wow that's a lot of stuff <laughs> Oh, ran of supplies, trade and stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, his up. backpack, just because he was like a little lugging. Oh, yeah. Getting it's a large backpack, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> he like, he oh, didn't feel like cool. carrying it anymore. Right. We just drop it in the bag of holding. Tough it in there. <laughs> right. Uh, great. No, thank you. Um, we're going to take this straight away upstairs. Yeah. Have you eaten right. yet, Kelwin? Oh, I had a, had a little bit of something. I don't eat too much for breakfast typically, but uh, okay. I hope you, I hope Ted made you something nice up there. Breakfast yeah, good. Fish. Said breakfast fish, yeah. It's a mm -hmm. oh, it's he's not... a really good cook. He is. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. yeah go on up there. Okay. I'll, we'll, we'll catch up more later. All right. See you around. All right. Willa goes upstairs and climbs the ladder. That's cool. Maybe I'll let us try one of those hammocks. Uh, well, oh, I'm, wait, I fell down the hole. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I fell down the hole. All right. <laughs> and damage. <laughs> ah. After all this, that's how she dies. I know. Break my neck, yeah. Damn it. We're sloppy when you need them. <laughs> now, that'd be really neat. I would like to see what that would feel like on the, on the hammock. Right. I mean, it feels a little bit better than than the bed. My 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 legs feel a little wobbly today. Oh yeah, you think it's the um, your water legs? I think that's what they call them. Is that what they call it? it uh, yeah, it might be. I, I don't know. Water legs. No, not very. I, I only I see legs. some of the uh, the boats coming in from whenever I visited New Delmar. Uh, you can see the 
you know, the ships coming in to the harbor and stuff, but um, I've never really been on one, so I don't know. I hear about it sometimes. But... Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah. Um, you come up and you can actually, you get a whiff of, um, of some fresh food. So you smell like fried fish, cooked food. There's um, there's a little pitcher of um, in cups with some with coffee. And Tet leans his head out and goes, "Help yourself over there. Let me know if you need anything. I've got some more plates and other things in, in the kitchen. Uh, let me know if you need anything at all. Okay. How's Thanks. the fish, boys? Yeah. Oh yeah. Thanks. Sorry. Sorry about that." <laughs> Well, no, it's a tight, fun. it's a tight room, but and it's a tight <laughs> ship. But you're able to kind of go in, chill hold. <laughs> you're able to no, lean it, in it, and maybe grab a plate and kind of you can either sit or stand and answer your question, young. Gemma. Bittersweet, this fish. I wish we were sharing it with our brother. Oh. You take a bite, and it oh. does. Sadly, remind you of Savamel, but it's delicious, and you almost take take uh, take note and 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 appreciation that man he we'd, he'd really like this if you were here. He'd, he he would want us to eat it. <laughs> he'd want us to savor this fish. Guys, can I ask for something? Kind of, I feel very vulnerable asking this from you, uh, but can a little early? Can we? I feel like it's coming anyways. Can we say a prayer to Quarthalia for Zavamil? Sure. Together. Uh, surprising, but you have to lead it. Um and uh Razak kind of holds out his hand to for Gemma to take. As this happens, you hear a creak and you can see Tet's little face like face is stepping. Slowly out and peeking out. You can get in here and kind of listen, kind of listening. Tech can get in here too. <laughs> he could, oh, 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 get he notices and his head kind of pops back <laughs> like a turtle back into the into the kitchen. That's all. And uh, Razik holds out his other hand towards Anton and uh, kind of like doing like a little circle. He takes your hand. Military guy, he's got a lot of heteronormative uh, hangups. Mm -hmm. Well, just think of it as a handshake, but with endurance. <laughs> just take his fucking hand. It's just. <laughs> it's <too Fine>. <laughs> Half. Oh, I'm only halfway through my breakfast fish. All right, let's just get this going. <laughs> right. Razik is gonna force him. He's gonna come over and he's gonna like. Come on. He's going to force the toxic masculinity out of you. And uh, he's going to hold your hand. And um, he's going to say, uh, um I'm not really sure what you're all about, but our best bud, Savi, means the world to us. And we hope that you'll keep him safe wherever he is. And I hope that if you have it in your heart, you'll keep us safe, too. Um, amen. That was nice, Razik. Good, good, good job. Good job. I, I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> Full of surprises. And with that, we um, we're gonna look over at our charity. We've got only five dollars donated. We'd love to see if you could donate some more to Doctors Without Borders. Our fundraiser is still going all night. So um, let's try and get to our $100 goal. We'd really appreciate it. We're going to, um, oh, well, first of all, we're, we are, of course, streaming live on Twitch, uh, which is free for all viewers. If you'd like to support what we do, give us a follow. For ad-free viewing and custom emotes, consider subscribing to our channel. And don't forget, you can only subscribe for free with an Amazon Prime account. And if you're watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast on our VOD stream, 
give us a like, subscribe to our channel, or leave us a review. We'd really appreciate the support. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this short break. Hello, welcome back to Tales of Terramir. We're on the ship of the Kestrel. It's the next day, and uh, we just had a little bit of breakfast, and Raz had a very sweet prayer for Quithalia and our missing friend, Savamel. It's back to you. Where we left off, exactly. What would you like to do? Um, so Anton's uh, eating and kind of leans over to Willa. Said you didn't sleep well either? Oh, um, yeah, you know, it's been weird. I've had, I've been having these dreams. Um, I wasn't sure at first if I should say anything, but it keeps happening. I don't know, it's one of those things, you know? It's the same dream over and over. I'm a dragon. I have a weird feeling that something's being taken. That's, that's like some kind of weird pain. But it turns out okay every time, so. Have I you told us about this? Have you, has she told us about this dream before? I don't I remember. Don't, I don't think Do I have. have. No? You've okay. never mentioned it before. All right. You say you're a dragon? I mean, do you think it's different from the normal sort of like every night nightmares that we all experience together collectively as a group from all the stuff that we've been through? Uh, it's more significant than just our baseline fun. nightmares. Good. Maybe a little bit. Damn. Who's having, are you having nightmares every night too, Roger? <laughs> yeah, but I think it might be unrelated. Okay. Um, <laughs> Will, do you think it's different than say when Anton was having his nightmares? I mean, at least this, you, you had kind of a connection as a dragon and not, you know, he wasn't a warthog before, but is it something like that? Um, I, I'm not sure. I don't think, um, I mean, Anton, you were turning into a warthog and roaming around the, the forest, right? And if I had turned into a yeah, dragon on the boat, um, the boat would have collapsed. Yeah, I feel true. like we know. Oh, right. He was turning into a... Yeah. God, that happened so long ago. <laughs> I <forgot. laughs> kind of forgot how that went. I not to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Oh. Well, what does it mean to you? Nothing. Nothing quite yet. It is weird that it keeps happening. I've never really had dreams like this before, and they do feel pretty real, but um, I don't know. I can't. There's no connection yet. I, I believe it is an amethyst dragon, though. Am I right? I don't remember. I think A full-on right. dragon, though, right? Not your wyvern form? Right, with, with the arms and everything. <laughs> wow, crazy. Mm -hmm. If it happens again, I'll let you guys know, but... It hasn't well, been effective. Hope you can get some sleep tonight. Yeah. You too. You too. Maybe it's the boat that's kind of messing all of us up. Well, I'm used to sleeping on a boat. Oh, where are you? Were you in the Navy? No, I, when I was a kid, we would go out for clams, stay out uh, sometimes so late at night if we didn't collect enough that we'd just sleep on the boat. Too afraid to return wow. home without enough for fear of oh. father beating us. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Some heavy shit. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Well, that's life in the big city. How are the clams, though? I'm never gonna eat another clam as long as I live. <laughs> They're pretty gross, right? Like, <laughs> it's like, I it's like I got clams for lunch now. <laughs> clams for lunch. <laughs> well, now that you mention it, uh, how are they in aphrodisiac? Like, like, like a side <laughs> like, uh, Thinking about maybe catching some clams, but. <laughs> If our guests don't like that, uh, stick to something uh, else. Hey, uh, <laughs> well, I was just gonna eat all the clams. Big clams, been putting out its property. She needs a lot of protein. She takes a lot of, in a lot of protein. For 
<laughs> it, it had to be at least like 50 to 80 clams to to make a meal, I imagine. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, I can eat a lot of clams. Yeah, I can eat a lot of fish, too. Uh, you got a clam. Well, it seems like an the... inefficient food source <laughs> if you have to like, eat a hundred of them. <laughs> well, to, you, know, you know, what I like to do is I'll go out and actually pretty soon uh it's getting there to that time of time of day i'll go out and swim near nearby the ship and stay alongside catch some fish and some stuff like that and bring it back in and cook it for the night so it's all fresh that's awesome Man, is there there. anything we can do to earn our keep around here Oh, you're just our guest. Yeah, don't worry about doing anything like that. If you really want to feel like you need something to do, maybe talk to <laughs> Bill or, or the captain. But, uh, oh, you know what? If, you, if you're feeling real, uh, like you're real bored, uh, I got some fishing poles. You can do some fishing off the boat. Yeah, we kind of earned our keep by starting a civil war back there. <laughs> Oh, I mean, not really, not oh. not really, but yes and no. We started a light civil conflict. <laughs> oh, oh, that's really sounds, more of a domestic. Sounds, this is sounds a really heavy. <laughs> a territorial <laughs> issue. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> sounds like a lot. Mm, sounds like you could do some fishing. <laughs> I would love to fish. It is the oh. purest form of meditation. Besides meditation? Yes. <laughs> the most pure form of meditation that can be done with a fishing pole. All right. And he kind of goes back into the, uh, <laughs> into the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, a, is he here. ready for our bonding montage later? Well, I hope he is. <laughs> hey. I learn all about Tet. Why? <laughs> makes him tick. Why don't we go through this bag, guys? <laughs> it's a little oh, less heavy, you know. <laughs> let's, let's go through this bag. Yeah, you have his backpack. Yeah. Are we ready for that? Finish, finish up yeah. what we got, and then just start, you know, pulling things out of the bag and throwing it on the table. Yes. Yeah. I imagine we're like reminiscing over at like every single thing. <laughs> we did. So, oh my god, his canteen. He used to drink out of this. <laughs> Is that pork juice? He used to moist himself with this all the time. Um, you do see his his supplies that he had in the backpack. He had um he had a bedroll, he had a blanket, a block of incense, um, a candle, a censer, in the sense of, you know burning incense yeah it's pretty stew i'm not gonna um, i'm not gonna write all this down can you forward me later and i'll throw it yeah I, i'll post it okay just, right. gonna, just list it out um there's a mess kit four rations a tinder box uh, some priestly vestments and a water skin that's, that's nothing that's personal or um he didn't leave his holy symbol this one, no he didn't probably have had that equipped yeah it's uh, on him always yeah there's yeah, nothing I wasn't sure if he was like, he might have been making a statement. I don't know. <laughs> like, he no, left in it, a fiery portal, so, you know, open to interpretation. Well, he left the backpack before you all left to do the Ebon Jewel thing, and he just, like, was dropping it off. And True. It seems he didn't... You kind of look back, and it doesn't seem like he really knew that that portal was going to be there either. Yeah. Well, just me or does this bag? Go ahead. Sorry. No, go for it. It was this bag. What? I, I just thought it smelled vaguely of chicken. There's I. It's not chicken, but I do see some gr bacon grease stains on here. The tuna. There are the some lambs. bacon grease stains, and you actually dig a little further, and there are a couple really old pieces, of kind of uh, left behind pieces of bacon, just in case. Yeah, snacky. Uh, there's a little uh, folded in some cloth. There's some cr like crumbled up bacon. Oh man, uh, Gemma's gonna wave her hand over it and crisp it up with her pressed digitation and kind of pass it out to everyone and be like, Prasabi, 
I don't I don't think he's dead and we probably can talk to him in like another day but um let's eat his bacon guys yeah he, he'd want us to he'd want us to he wouldn't right. want it to go to waste right let's right. raise this bacon to sub yeah so crisp that up and pass it around and sprinkle it on our breakfast fish <laughs> bacon bits bacon bits yeah absolutely um, yeah, I, I think we can take comfort in the fact that maybe we can at least try to contact him in a day. Um, so let's not, let's Fly not be day, worried. I mean, uh, because this needles. ear, we're going to be using this ear for, uh, Wernithar in a few minutes. Oh, right? I feel like we should talk to Savi first. Wernithar. Are you sure? Savi, really? Savi Mil, Savi Mils are, are our people you know he's he's a yeah. sole survivor and he just up and left out of nowhere um we're in dark and we're in dark and wait a day sure i guess you waited all this time you can probably wait another day <laughs> right right i'm sure he's fine that's fair that's fair i just i didn't want to assume you know you're you seem really close to getting the answer that you wanted and um i don't know i didn't want to worry about sobbing though i know we're all kind of sad, but I didn't want to worry about him unless there was an actual reason to worry. So, but yeah, let's maybe let's. You guys want to contact him now? Yeah. How many words do we get? Enough. Twenty-five. Damn it. Maybe we should plan what we're gonna write out first before, or say first before and we. Um... What are, the, sorry, what are the terms of their response? Like, can they also send twenty five things back, or is there any sort of reception? I always forget this spell. You can say twenty five words, and then they can say twenty five back. Okay. So for 13 words, I can go, Salamil, where did you go? Are you okay? Will we see you again? Anything else? We should we should use all 20. Do you want to yeah, yeah, come yeah, for yeah. you? Thank you. Is that, I'm trying to be Question succinct. Mark? Like, Thanks. where did you go? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Are we going to see you again? Mm -hmm. uh, we are okay. We are okay? We are okay. Are you okay? Should we say, we okay, you okay? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We okay. Are we you okay? We okay. You okay? You okay? Right. Subtle Mel, where go? <laughs> we're doing it like a, you like, know from the yeah. office. Yeah, we're yeah, doing it from the office. Yeah. yeah. Subtle Mel, where go? We okay? You okay? See Less you word again? makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> Why use many? We'll see. <laughs> yeah, why are you spending? We'll see you again. Question mark. And then, and it's all about the tone, right? We gotta say it like a question. We'll see you again. We'll see you. Smiling. Again. <laughs> where are you going? Where, where, Samuel? Where, where go? Where, we're going? Also. Meet Salomel, in New do Well. Savannah, so where go? We're going. We okay? You okay? Well, what's the we'll Dwarven okay. city um, that he Korea. was journeying to called? Career? Career. Uh, I don't know. Like, like are well, you in career? If we ask him where he's Should going, we he, come? Can, he can respond instead of ask trying to guess where he's going. We can just ask him That's where true. he's going. If he if he does that, things. if he's smart about it, yeah, he might say something cryptic for us. <laughs> Like what we're saying isn't correct. Well, I guess it's just minusing words. It's so. <laughs> like we can't be like Savmo. We miss you. It's gonna Think be about like, you every night that you're what gone. Hell, what <laughs> what hell saying? Your absence fills me with dread. We're not wasting words on on sweet nothings. We're just we want to make sure he's okay. We want to know where he's going. We want to know if we're gonna see him again. Maybe. Anything else we want to know from him? Does he we need ate, us? We ate your bacon. <laughs> we ate your bacon. Well, do, you, do you need backup? Do you need us? You missing right. all this? You missed back breakfast fish. <laughs> right. We ate fish. Those just three words. 
we hit fish. Where I've got a little, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm back on thirteen. I cut down words, said another thing, and we're back at thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if that's if that's everything, then maybe the rest of the words we can give it to Razak, and he can say all the sweet things he wants to say. Oh, well, is it gonna play out that way? <laughs> like, uh, do you want us to come to career? I, I feel like that's the only thing that we need to ask him. Why no? Say that hi. I would add. Why not say goodbye? <laughs> well, that's like, you know, we're we're Biffles, dude. Like, it's not goodbye. It's just until we see each other again, you know? Right. I don't, you guys, I don't think that's the last time we're going to see him. I Absolutely think not. I mean, we're kind of... I'm just worried about like, our boy. Sure. Sure. But now we're going to go verify to make sure that he's going to be okay. He's and... our blue son. He's amazed about everything, Gemma. He thinks everything is crazy. I worry about him. Clearly. Clearly. Do you have do you have anything you want to say to him, Razak? No, just to ask him if he needs us. That's it. Okay. You need us? So we're at. You can throw a do in there. Yeah, we <laughs> miss like, you. Like, wait, let's, you know, prepositions are worth something. I'm like, let's be quick. Yeah, we miss you. Saba Mill, where go? We're going. <laughs> we okay? You okay? You need us? <laughs> we'll see you again. Done we miss perfect you. text message. <laughs> Hit head hard. <laughs> Hit my head hard. <laughs> this well thought text message, yeah. <laughs> How much, how many does an emoji count as one? Right. Counts as a word. Counts as a word. Smiley face. I'm just going to say smiley face. Uh, the sensation okay. of someone looking at you. <laughs> Two words. <laughs> no, you said that that counts as an emoji. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, solid mill, where go? We're going. We okay? You okay? You need us? We'll see you again. We miss you. Razik misses you. Can we throw that in there? Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Will he know he only gets 25 words as well? I believe clerics, a uh, little meta here, I think clerics have sending. He's used it before, doesn't oh, he? They should. He like, has not used it before. He will know probably. Yeah. He would have it at like, like this level. Or no, next level maybe. I don't know. He probably remembers. He, he saw you get the ear. He studies a lot, yeah. Yeah, you know. Yes, yeah. Can we assume that? Or Yeah, he knows you have the ear. Yeah. No, no, no. That uh he knows how to respond to sending. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> you gonna make me read it all out again? <laughs> I want you, I want you to read it out, yes, in character, and I no, want you to I'm post it so I can respond appropriately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> post it in the chat. And on the game. Okay. Uh, in the game chat, you said? Yeah, in the Foundry chat. Okay. All right. Uh, and they can all hear his response, right? I want to make sure that that's a... a yeah, thing. it comes out of the ear. Yeah, because yeah. you've used it before and you know this. Yeah. yeah I throw it on the table and uh, think about Saba Mill. Question I got. And say, <laughs> um, Salva Mill, where go? We're going. We okay? You okay? You need us? We'll see you again? We miss you. Razik misses you. Smiley face emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Three words there. <laughs> The perfect text that's been done. Put, post that like, in the chat, please. I did. I did. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't. Hit in the it. foundry, foundry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't hit it. He's like, what the hell is an it's emoji? <laughs> He's like, merman emoji. Things are great. 
<laughs> thumbs up, thumbs up. Everything oh, is so I'll crazy. See. I'll get back to you. <laughs> um, you wait a beat. Feeling that you've sent the message through. Uh, and you start to hear um, something, a sound come through the ear itself. Ah, uh, I am captured. I saw the trident of water. I didn't know I had a choice. I'm being imprisoned inside Korea. My captors are servants of a red dragon. That's it. Oh man, he's dead, guys. That was a <laughs> good, a d- good on Salva Mill, man. That was a yeah. goodly amount of information. Let's just all appreciate that for a second. Okay, so he's okay, but, but not okay. He's alive. You know that. Well, I'm sure Did glad we for... didn't trust him on his own. Jeez. <laughs> he fall for a trap? Is that what happened? Right, I don't understand. Maybe he think, was. Maybe he was maybe shown. He was given a choice to to get the thing that he was looking for, uh, but ended up being tricked. I don't know if he's captured by a red dragon or uh, servants of a red dragon. Maybe he didn't know it was all involved. But why would a red dragon want Salvano? Did did it find out about its mission? I. I don't know. I don't know anything about red dragons, and I don't know anything their motivations. Maybe, maybe because he tried to take the the trident. Right. That's what he was looking for, right? Was a trident? I think that so. Was the, well, that Help was roll the... a, um, a history check, actually. You say all of us? Yeah, all of you can roll that. Oh, okay. oh, oh my goodness. goodness. 20. 20. Beautiful. Ooh, I think that's the three. At 20. Gemma. Oh, I did a bag my bag of holding. Oh. That was weird. Yeah, that's weird. Sorry. I um uh, no I um It's still a nineteen, you can add your bullets yeah, yeah, to it. Yeah. That's fine. It's zero. It's zero, it's fine. It's a same chain. Okay. Um, great. And Anton. So Anton, Gemma, and, and Willa. Razik, you're not sure what trident of water means. Um, the rest of you, especially Willa. Willa, you've heard the legend. The legend of the, the destined weapons. There were these very famous heroes known as the destined heroes that... Uh, were uh, given a task, a quest, uh, to uh, retrieve weapons um, of each element to defeat an evil wizard long ago. One of those weapons is the Trident of Water. Seems that's the thing that Savamel might be seeking. Uh, well, Willa will share. I uh, will you know, some of you guys know, but she'll share what she knows. Yeah. Well, that seems like it's very important. I can imagine a red dragon wanting to hand something like that over. If that's who indeed have it, has it. And careers in the middle of a volcano. Career is the name of the volcano. Then there's the kingdom of Career that surrounds the volcano. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I guess it's a good thing that we're going there. Heading in that direction. It just seems like if we want to see him again, we'll have to scoop him up. Let's hope we don't uh, get killed on the way. Have you ever... Fought a red dragon before? 
Good one. No. Never fought anyone other than a human. You all know that dragons are incredibly rare on the Latin Some Summing some people believe in that there's only one of each kind on the continent or in the world. It's unsure, they're so rare. And we're gonna have to kill it. Some people also worship certain dragons as deities in their society. Yeah. Like the Panginans, yeah. Mm. None of you have ever actually seen a dragon or know anyone who's met a dragon. Probably. If I have seen one, I can't remember it, so. There's that. I've, I've seen them in books, though. I, I get the, they're big, they've got the, the stuff. They're basically like big wyverns, wyverns. That's what we I just kind of roping them all into one. Group. <laughs> but they have well, hands, is my understanding. Yeah, I think Willa can tell you exactly what they look like. <laughs> yeah. Two of them, right here. Right, right. <laughs> right here. In fact, you recall seeing uh, uh, from one of the forbidden books you took from the library not not that long ago of a book about dragons. Uh. You know, digging in my bag of holding. Pull out a book of dragons. Big, the Terramir Big Book of Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> there's green, there's amethyst. There's <laughs> there's a, uh, cool. Is it sort of by <laughs> category or name or alphabetically? It's called the Dragons of Galatalon, the Draconomicon. That's not the book I was looking for. I want the big book of dragons with the pictures. <laughs> for dummies. <laughs> for little for... illustrations. It's got the pop-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have kids. All right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess, does it have illustrations? Like, really, like, you know, and... There are a few. Is yeah. It, is it in Elvish though? Like, is it in common? Um, so we just lost our Elven translator too. It's just more than a true. healer, guys. <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten out of that one trap. Kind of holding you all together. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, checking my notes here. Um, checking notes. Um, this is the first time you pulled this out after grabbing it. Hey, hey, Gemma! You said you saw a, a page with amethyst dragon. Can you? Can you? Um, what is it? Do ear dog ear dog, dog ear, ear? That page. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. In fact, um, I'm, I don't know why we didn't do this before. <laughs> I, I forgot we had it. Yeah, we've been through a lot. We, we forgot lot. to check the forbidden book section of your pack. <laughs> I got so much stuff in here. So. Yeah, we've got a lot of forbidden tomes at this point, I feel. It's mostly bacon. But... You can tell some stuff by some of the drawings, but it's actually written in Draconic. Ooh. Oh, I don't want to make any assumptions. Oh. Can, can you read this, Willem? Uh, let me take a look. Okay. Nope. Interesting. You know... If, uh, well, uh, we do find clearly marked sections for Amethyst Dragon and possibly the Red Dragon as well. Like, can we at least tell what what the sections are talking about? By yeah, you all, and all that stuff. Do you want to spend time? It takes a little time to kind of look through it. It's a decent sized book, and you have to kind of, if it's a foreign language, but no, uh, I mean, like, leaf through and see if there are any, like, red or amethyst dragon illustrations or something like that uh there's no color to them but there is like sort of black and white ink drawings of certain dragons that based on legends you may be able to with some study to do some which dragon might be which but it looks like flipping through it that each dragon might be represented okay well we can we can totally uh bookmark some of those later but I feel like maybe if we end up at another Everwatch 
outpost. Maybe someone there can talk, tell us more about it. That's a good idea. I don't, I have no idea what's up the river, so, uh, or beyond. Someone's got to know, right? Especially outside of the Empire. You'd think so. You'd think so. I really don't know what it's like out there, so. Me neither. I hope. Anton, do you know if there are any settlements beyond where we're going? No, it's out of my ju jurisdiction. Wow. You don't know what they may be, but you know that there, there are some. You just are not aware of what they are or what they might be, Anton. I think it's definitely worth looking into then when we can read it. Are we sure we don't have the other book that has the colored pictures and the pop-ups <laughs> do we not have time i mean we're on a boat yeah no that's what i mean like we can we can look through it and stuff we just can't do yeah. anything with it right it's just not uh, yeah i mean it's just a matter of spending that time to do it um i don't know as you're ha as you're having this conversation however though oh, oh um there's a loud voice uh you can hear above you from the top deck shouting what do you do you start going towards it yeah What's hell no <laughs> what, what kind of shouting is, is it, it not, is it orders is it danger right is it, like, party? Uh, it like, seems what? it seems like like surprise anton just goes like rushing out. surprise it's dangerous out there <laughs> anton went through the bathroom i'll be right back <laughs> yeah. anton's on deck Oh, oh, let's what go. What happened? Let's go. Rush up. Rush up as well. What, what's all the screaming? Um, as you get onto the deck, make your way towards it, you spot the large black scaled hybrid form of Wurinthar standing upon the ship, beginning to shift to his normal humanoid form. The tanned, bearded elf then looks towards Willa as you come onto the ship. Uh, we are the may, may we speak? Um, so cool. Yeah, of course. How'd you find us? I followed your ship. It wasn't too hard. Look, um, okay. I also have uh, servants and nature that spread word to me told me of where you were going oh right i'm sorry that we didn't end on good terms before i flew off that's okay it was a heated battle i wanted to give you the opportunity to ask me anything you might have maybe about your past or in fact there's something that i wanted to give to you as, as a gift. Oh. All right. Um, you didn't have to get me anything. Uh, it might take a while, but if you spend just let's, an hour or so with me, I can, I can train you to... I've seen how perhaps you might not have learned the best ways to use your hybrid powers. Uh, I, I can train you to to use them in a better way if you'll allow me to at least let me do this to make up for my past a bit right um yeah that that'd be amazing i've only learned what what my my family could teach me but um they're not, they're not dragonborns and that lineage only goes so far so I, can I trust you to teach me something that's actually helpful? It's not gonna, it's not gonna like root anything evil in me, is it? <laughs> kind of, you know, smiles, smirks at that, and some of the other crew members, and it's louder on the ship too. Uh, everyone can't hear exactly what you're saying. Um, some of the crew members kind of like kind of go off seeing that it seems to be private. Um, 
and uh, he kind of looks around and well you know will uh, using blood magic inherently has some risk but, um it's not the it's not the cleanest use of power you could say there is some inherent darkness there but the intention of our order was to use some of that darkness to fight back evil fire against fire as they say um, I'm gonna need you to uh, if you want to do this you're gonna have to transform into your hybrid form oh right um, maybe let me let me let this crew know they don't, they don't know about that and I think I could trust them but let me just give them a heads up real quick I understand she's gonna kind of go around uh, she'll go to the captain she goes up to the top deck to the captain and next to Phil and she says uh, hey there captain I hope I hope you don't mind my friend of sorts he um, he wanted to stop by to say hi and he was hoping to to help me train on something Really quick, just want to say thank you to Muzio9 for for donating and becoming a subscriber. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you go to the top of the deck and um, what did you say to them exactly? Uh, she said, hey, hey Captain, um, I hope you don't mind my friend stop by. He's going to help me train on something. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, kind of looks over at Phil, and Phil's like smiling at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the the captain goes, "Sure, that's 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 fine. Yeah, uh, not gonna ruin the deck of my ship or anything." <laughs> kind of joking. I don't think so. Oh, well, then you can do whatever you want. <laughs> this might be a good show to watch. Kind of leans back and is steering the ship. Okay, thanks for that. And um, wanted to give you and, and your crew a heads up. I'll likely turn into something that, of what you just saw. Um, so don't be alarmed. It's going to be a, a bigger version of me. Wow, this is... You don't see this every day. All right, sure. Kind of, They seem satisfied to watch and let you do your thing. Okay, thanks then. And she, she runs back down. Back to Weir and Thar. She's like, "All right, I'm I'm ready." <sighs> All right. If everything's safe now, uh, uh, Z for Z also says stretch. So this is perfect timing. Uh, it's in channel points, and uh, Weir and Thar is going to. You see him such. A, he cracks his neck, his his back arches outward, and these wings start to sprout from his spine as he tra transforms back into his hybrid form. And you can see this big black scaled wyvern, uh, although it's a hybrid form, so it has arms and it's more like a dragon. She she looks at, at the soul survivor. She like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, eh? I don't know. Do you um, transform? Just do that. Or... Just try and do yeah. that. <laughs> With the arms, yeah. Willow will start to do the same. She kind of, kind of brings her head down, and her bones start cracking, and her wings come out. As her body transforms. Oh, for some reason, the game is not uh, doing what I set up for this. Um, oh, no. Hold on. I might be able to actually quickly do this. Um, Anton's please... looking over at Aignorn and Phil to see what uh, their reactions are. 
this like slow motion anime cutscene, uh, we're all just like pausing to react. <laughs> while this goes, uh, while this goes on, can I go into the <laughs> the galley and get some beers, ales for us while we're watching? <laughs> Popcorn. Yeah. Yes, you can get that. Everyone can watch as this training begins to happen. Um, bringing you back on. Well, let's see if that worked. It did. As Willa transforms into her hybrid form. Um, seeing uh, her transform, do you want to describe it a little bit, Willa? Oh, yeah. She kind of like, she, she closes her arms over herself as her back cracks and um, grows outwards. And as she raises her arms, they turn into these giant wings. Um, as this purple dra uh, wyvern, sorry. And you, um, you can see the, the, the kind of unspoken training he does teach you. This hybrid form, more human, more humanoid than yours. It is a true hybrid version of a humanoid and this wyvern. A mixture, more like usual lycanthropes. And he kind of stands up straight on his legs, this massive draconic form, and he begins to start to train you to use your wings and uh, move in a certain way. Um, go ahead and roll a, um, a con saving, or a con, yeah, con save, yep. Con save. Are we seeing the tra the Rocky training montage right now? Is that what's happening? Yeah, you guys are eating popcorn and watching. <laughs> uh, five. Uh, at first, you're not understanding what's what's going on with that, um, and he continues to train you. Um, probably 15, 20 minutes go by. Go ahead and do roll again. Wow. Another five. <laughs> She's so um, confused with the arms. Yeah, it's not, I'm just not translating. <laughs> yeah. But that's what defines a dragon. We, we established that canonically. I bring Willa and Ale in between while she's resting. Yeah. Out, taking, <laughs> you just like, taking break, holds her, break. she can't hold yeah. it. She's like, no arms. Can you just pour it in? Pour it in your um, mouth. You got this. Due to, the, got this. Due to the training and the strain on the uh, the blood magic, um, you take twelve uh, psychic damage. Oh, okay. And um, you take one level of exhaustion. Oh man. I'll apply the exhaustion for you. Willow hasn't trained in a while like this. Not with another wyvern. It's been a while. Um, he starts to growl at you, kind of angrily, like, "Come on, let's do this!" And you can actually he begins to psychically talk in your mind. Um, let's keep going. Do it. Try it again. And um, another 15, 20 minutes go by. You have to roll another cons. Alright. Fingers crossed. Hey! That's 20. 20! Even though the exhaustion is getting to you and you're seeing your friends kind of watch you, feeling the pressure of this uh, starting to escalate, uh, he pushes you further and further, teaching you and um, Begin to feel this control over your body, this control over your hybrid form, and the wings start to, in a very gross fashion, but very satisfying in a way, that the wings kind of separate from your spine and move downward, and the pieces that were your wings kind of transform back into arms. And now you have these wings separate from your arms. And uh, you see that he stands back and uh, almost stands proudly as this in this draconic form. Um, you now can um, use your weapons, stand, and 
use your mall and your transformation, how the transformation block. Oh what? That's a little terrifying. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, you look awesome. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so your figure looks a little bit more like Weirinthar's image there, where more draconic, where the wings are sort of separate. Your wings are flightless still, unless you use your gym flight. But so they naturally aren't there or useful, but you can now stand there in your hybrid form and use weapons. What? She, she looks at her arms and she's like, this is amazing! And she like lets out a huge roar. He roars back. And there's this loud roaring as uh, some of the crew are like, oh, <laughs> like staring on. And uh, we're in Thar kind of kind of looking you down up and down kind of uh, proud and he drives swarms back into his normal form <sighs> Willow will, will follow so she does the same she kind of shrinks back down Jem will come down and, and tell Willow that was amazing you did it Thanks, Gemma. I, I had no idea I could do that. No one, no one at home is is able to do that. I didn't, I didn't know. Thank you, Weir and Thor. That's awesome. That's the least I could do. Hope your friends don't mind such a, uh, a show. I suppose I'm not used to seeing or being around other people, but. Well, it's the least I could do. I'm glad I could teach you something. Yeah, Perhaps thank you. you were never the daughter that I wanted you to be, or I never got to have you as my daughter, but perhaps I didn't deserve such a such a gift. But I hope that I've made up for my past a bit for that. Well, I, I do appreciate it. Um, I don't really know you past these this past week, so I can't say much about that. But thank you for showing me how to do that, and I, I'm glad that we met. I am too, and I I'm also thankful for what you and your friends did. I saw the letter you left, and I'm thankful that you got to the Silver Circle and you were able to at least set things in motion. I think you've done enough. I'm glad you left when you did. And I would consider my role in all of this to be done. I plan to... Uh, go back into the forest and let nature reset its course. You set things in motion, nature will now take it over. And that's all I can do or wish for. So maybe one day we'll meet again, but uh, thank you, Willa Katawissa, for doing what you've done. Of course. I, I was just happy to help Baron Drell, and I'm glad you're going to go back to living a peaceful life. Um, there were a lot of people that you hurt there, so I hope that I hope that, you know, you keep on the course that you're going now. Like Paul always says, it's better to help than hurt. Uh, speaking of, I, I did speak to my pa a bit about you. And, I mean, it does sound like he definitely knew about you, but he wasn't too happy with it. What what happened with you guys? Were you you just had a fallen out? We um, we don't see eye to eye on issues. It's as I said before. There are those in our order who believed we should protect nature from civilization. And there are those who believed civilization should be protected by nature. 
your pa and the family that ended up raising you were a part of the latter, fighting back and protecting civilization from the beasts of nature. While I believe nature should take over. And I'm not sure we'll ever find the common ground there. Other than... Other than you. You've been the tie between us. Perhaps there is... Uh, perhaps there's a way to peace in the end. I think so. You should know that I, I lived a happy life. My mom, my pa, they, they built a good life on that farm. And um, I'd like to think that we lived with nature as well. You know, we were protecting, protecting the local area, but also, but also protecting the animals around there too. I, I had one question and I, I was wondering if maybe you could tell me. I, I was found in a basket. Is there anything you know about that? Unfortunately not. I know that's not the answer you want or wish to have, but... No. We found you, uh, as you said, in a basket. Just a baby with that necklace around you. Sees the glowing purple necklace around you. Although it never quite glowed like that as often as it's doing now. Well, I think it has something to do with your past, but we never found out why or what it is. And I hope that you find that one day. I hope so too. That's what I'm. That's what I'm out here doing. I mean, I made some amazing friends on the way, but ultimately, I'd like to figure out all of this. I think they could help me find some peace. So, well, thank you for telling me what you know. Anytime, man. And uh, I think. Uh... If it means anything, I think your family did you right. And you turned out just okay. <laughs> More than okay, but uh, I'm glad you're happy. And I think your pa did right. All right, enough of these feelings. <clears throat> Take care, Willa. You too. He begins to transform again into uh, into this violent looking hybrid form of his his wings spreading and <sighs> takes off off the ship and flies away you okay Will? yeah yeah I'm I feel good. I was wishing that he'd know a little bit more, but I didn't expect that he'd teach me how to have some arms while I'm a wyvern. <laughs> if I'm even a wyvern anymore, I don't even know. That's still a thing, but... Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing we didn't use that ear, huh? Uh, God, that right. <laughs> <laughs> it really would have worked just out like, maximally in our favor. He'd <laughs> yeah. have been like, I'm on my way. Right here. <laughs> <From Sarah>. <laughs> <laughs> Razik is like, I must have like accidentally touched some red pepper or something because <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, you gotta be careful. Make sure I know. <laughs> yeah. Right. It is salt water. I'm not used to it where they keep it here. <laughs> Probably you need your mind wiped again. Yeah, he needs his mind wiped again. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. We all just realized we were mind wiped and that I might have double mind wiped myself. I don't know. That's a question for another day. As you continue oh, to travel uh, along Magalore River, 
Anton's uh, just looking at Anyorn and uh, Phil to see how they're reacting to two dragons flying around in a training montage over their ship. I think it's bad. Mouth wide open. A couple of times <laughs> they kind of cheers a mug of ale. These guys are Anyorn on the back. Kind of like. Can can uh, leave them such a big tip. Oh, wow. Sorry, uh, Justin. And um, looking at our charity over here, we got, uh, we're only at $15. Hoping we can get a little bit further along for our goal here uh, for 100. Uh, tell your friends, we're live. S- spread the word. Um, we're going to take our final short break. We're so close. Um, also, only a few away to completing our current follower goal on Twitch. So make sure you hit that follow button. And if you haven't already, check the link on our YouTube and subscribe to our channel there. The holiday season is coming up, so if you're feeling generous, consider also subscribing on Twitch, sending a tip. Uh, you can click the tip button on our about page or go to streamlabs.com slash tales of Terramir slash tip. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Hello. Welcome back to Tales of Terramir. We're on the river ship called the Kestrel, uh, making our final stretch to the border of the Domarian Empire. And uh, Willow just learned some training from Weirinthar. I had to use her hybrid form into a more effective way and actually using her weapons. Um, and that's where we left off. So we'll pick right, right back up. I'll leave it to you all. What would you like to say next? Does it hurt? I mean, does it hurt <laughs> when you transform? Sounds like it hurts. <laughs> I'm I'm used to it now. At first, it was it kind of hurt. And does it hurt when your surrogate dad leaves? Raza kind of touches her arm gently. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I'd like uh, d- step down. You were so you're floating up. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. Um, I, I don't I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings about him. My pa told me not to trust him, so mm. I don't know. He seems like he has a weird mix of like uh, forbidden knowledge about you, but also uh, generalized knowledge that isn't useful to, to help you on your path. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Um, I think he told me everything I needed to know at this point. Mm-hmm. I I wouldn't mind seeing him again, but if I didn't, I don't think I'd be too sad. Tilderil, what are you doing over there, you little scamp? Philadelphia? Oh, sorry, Philadel. Enhanced. <laughs> Tilladil. <laughs> Philadel or Phil. Turn to. Ah, oh. Ah, you know, just doing maintenance on the ship. Anything uh, we can help with? Oh, no, no, no. There's nothing you need to worry about on the ship. We've got. We're, right, we're running a. Uh, oh, quite the skeleton crew for this, but. Uh, why is that? Uh, uh, we just don't have enough hands on the deck. We usually can handle more crew, but we've got, we've got enough to, to get you there and what we need. What do... <sighs> insight check? You can roll insight. All right. I realize we've just kind of complicitly trusted these people. I mean, they, and they've given us good reason to do so. They're, aren't they friends of a friend now? Like friends of the Fayfire Blades person? Personally. Of Safiel, who was from the Silver Star. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, seems seems that's the connection. Did you roll your insight, Raz? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. Boop. Oh, it just um, comes with question marks for me. Yeah. Interesting. Great rolls. 
you're not sure what you read from them. You feel like there's there's instinct of you that feels like there's something more to this, but you can't get a read on them. Mm -hmm. You're not quite tell, you're not quite able to tell at this point. Because um <clears throat> oh we we were hoping we could have that ale last night, but it, seemingly obviously you were <laughs> very uh, exhausted for for good reason. Uh, we haven't really got to know each other yet. We actually should be where you need to be by uh well not tomorrow but half of the day after that how that works out uh <laughs> we got all day tomorrow but the day after that we're getting to the border do you mind me asking um we don't actually know why we're taking you there you know about the uh the conflict Right, that's going on right now over there. Over where? At at the border. When uh, you say the border, do you mean the space between the mountains? Uh at the base of the mountains. Uh okay. the path that the, the canal goes through or the, the river. Right. Uh well you see we're on Magalore River. Magalore mm -hmm. River is gonna go north and then we're gonna connect to the Lichstead River and then we're gonna take that west tomorrow. And the day after that, you should be hitting the border of the Damarian Empire at the end of the river, which kind of flows from the mountains. Right. And the That's edge of the Damarian Empire. But uh, we are kind of going I, closer into the empire as we go. No, we're moving. You're going away. away. You're going from the border. Well, yeah, ultimately, right. right? But we do kind of have to go in to go out, don't we? Like just based on. No, like, that's the, incorrect. We're going river. towards the border. That's why we went into the river so that we could escape. Like the empire is behind us now. Wasn't that like the whole point why we were taking the river to get out of the empire? You are taking. I mean, you tell me. Did you go to career? You just uh, no. I was just outside. He is going to career. Like in careers in the opposite direction of what you just described. So. No, that's incorrect. We are headed. Oh, for then yes. General. Then what I'm saying is like also accurate. We're saying the same thing. It's like Not we are going through the mountains, and that will connect us to career. What's happening at the border? You said that there was a conflict? Yeah, last we heard, um, that's why we. this job was risky. I think maybe why Safiel uh, perhaps pays a little extra. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's, there's, there's some conflict there. The Damarian uh, army is, is currently facing off against the uh, Carrerians. And their military at the border, button heads, so to speak. There, we might be going, we might be sailing right into uh, into war. Safi didn't mention anything about that. What kind of conflict do you expect us to go through? Like, what was your plan on going a river? I met, I that's what I thought that you were actually headed this direction too, and we're hitching a ride. Uh, we're, well, the, the river only goes so far. So you were just going to stop there? Yeah, we we're going to turn around after we dropped you off. Uh, <laughs> we don't know what to expect. We just, this is what we heard. Uh, and we're strapped for cash. We need the gold. That's why we took it. Uh, but uh, it might be going into dangerous territory. Uh, we might be seen as a civilian ship going through. They might not touch us. But uh, we hear that there's some growing conflict there on the border. So just, I mean, you all seem like capable types. Uh, just prepare yourselves. Survive worse. Should we there get might off? be some conflict there. Should we get off before we get to the border? I asked the, the group. Are you all together? I am assuming we're together at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anton, yeah. should we get off the? Should we get off before? Oh, everyone order? huddle together there. Go through the mm -hmm. teleportation of the stairs. Mm -hmm. 
It's weird. And, I feel and, like and we get off. Sava Mill is not there. So. And where are we going to get off? <laughs> um, um, like if there's a conflict at the border and we're going to be facing off the Domerian army, or they're going to, there's a chance that we'll be running into them. Should we get off before we hit the port? I was thinking we could uh, make sure that this ship looks like it's harmless and uh, kind of lay low. Maybe sail up, maybe put a white flag up so that you're not mistaken for a threat. Uh, I, if we get off, I'm not sure where, where we would go. I don't know either. It's just... I thought we were going to be able to sail past them, but it doesn't well, sound look, like that's we the idea. To... Look, we might be able to just sail past them. It's, um, it's loose. It's out, you know. It... The Empire doesn't have strict guidelines in place. We're out here. We throw a tarp over the weapon. Capital. We're a sail ship, and there is often a lot of trade between Korea and of the and that's sort of natural and so we're sort of hoping we'd maybe pass off as that I'm just saying there's some conflict so there might be some uh, Marians may not want us to pass through and maybe the Korean still want us to pass through just saying there's something there and we have to be prepared for difficulties if that it comes to that yeah, out of the frying pan and into the fryer. I mean, the Demarian Empire we need to help. leave it anyway. We can help yeah. you defend yourself if you get boarded. This is how we can earn our keep. I appreciate that. Uh, you look yeah. like a solid, uh, solid warrior. Have a moment. Anton, do you think do you think Jane will be there waiting for us? I mean, no. He has to know we're headed in this direction, right? But he wouldn't be able to beat us there. But he, he could still be on our tail. I mean, true. I don't think we have a choice other than to try to scoot by. Okay. I, I trust you. Speaking of which, maybe. Uh, is there any way we could make this thing go any faster? Uh, we're going as fast as we can, uh, soldier. Uh, the wind is uh, dying, but if you look down uh, and he points over off to the horizon towards the, uh, towards the north, we got a storm coming our way. Should be here by nightfall. Perhaps that'll provide a little bit of wind. Also, either either give us a cover or prevent us from seeing what's beyond us. Mixed, mixed bag, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, pre be prepared for some bad weather coming here soon. I welcome it if it'll camouflage us. All right. Well, well would you say, what do you say we go downstairs and uh, have some mail? Maybe get to know each other a bit before we uh, either. <laughs> ah, yes! My kind of people. Let's go! And he goes downstairs. And you can hear a shout from the captain go, Ah, right, Phil, don't get too drunk, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah! Just <laughs> So just to be clear, our, our ship is it's moving south drunk. down the river, right? Through the mountain pass? What's your question? I said, just to be clear, like, which direction our ship ship is heading, like... So let me show you. Um, it's it's you flowing can... south, right? I'm looking at the Galadmon uh, map. If you go to our Northwest Empire, Imperial region, mm -hmm. um, we are going from Barn Drill. Mm-hmm through the Magalore River. It kind of goes northwest 
and then goes kind of southwest a, a tiny bit, but mostly west um, this in this direction. Um, and mostly will end at the base of the, the mountains where um, it starts to taper off into some islands and, and some things and the water flows sort of from the mountains there. But that's basically the end of the river. It's okay. also so we- just past the mm-hmm. Westwarden Garrison, which is a stronghold of Damarian um, military. So it, it does not flow entirely through, or it does? It does not it's flow entirely through. Okay. It ends at the mountains. Okay, thank you. It just uh, from the map, I wasn't sure. Like the, the yeah, I know it's that whole space. It's not geographically uh, accurate. Gotcha. Um, but yes, it the basically the the mountain range kind of flows past the river a bit, and then it tapers off a bit. Um, but the river ends at, at the mountains. Yes. Does not flow through the mountains. So eventually, you'll strike land um, on the Lichtstead River, and they would they would probably drive you off before that point. Okay. Yep. So fraught with danger, but not as fraught as going completely down south. But we still it's- have to go over the mountains through land. Like, it was your only way that you were going to go, and you were going to take either the Imperial Road to the mountains, or you're going to take the river. And you chose the river. Mm-hmm. Both end at the Ember Rim Mountains and the, the border of the Empire. Sounds good. Okay. What's great about Foundry is you can go and look at those maps anytime. It's kind of nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's super cool. All right. Um, so you uh, at least Philadel went down to go drink, have a drink downstairs. Anton followed. Eager to get started. I think Will's going to stay up top. Same gonna... with Gemma. I kind of want to catch uh, Tet. Tet? What's his name? Is Tet? I want to see him. Yeah, I want to see him. Is he fishing? Was that is that happening still? Oh, oh yeah. eventually. I mean, if you stay up there long enough, he eventually does come out. and. Yeah, I just want to see that goings on on the ship. I, I can watch Anton drink all the time. Have been watching <laughs> Anton drink. I'll join you yeah, guys a little I mean, later. Just kind you of have wanna... the day before you. There is lots of activities that happen. I mean, Tet eventually does. Um, you can see that he has a rope that he seems very used to, now, and the crew seems very used to it as well. Um, he takes a rope and kind of throws it out to the side of the boat, and it is a river. He finds there are more shallow points, more deeper points. He hops off at one point and. Uh, dives in and goes underwater and seems to try and catch fish and at some point he comes up and brings fish up and goes back out and um, you can see that there is um, also Alkali Elm um, the uh, sort of quieter uh, more druid like uh, uh, quartermaster Every once in a while, you, if you watch him, he sort of seems to be navigating by uh, celestial bodies, kind of seeing the sun, mapping that. Every once in a while, he'll um, go over to the captain and uh, tell him, you need to turn this way, turn a little bit more that way. Um, don't follow that stream that way, go this way, keeping him on track. Uh, Zuri off uh, throughout is kind of constantly looking at pieces of the ship repairing parts of the wood repairing parts of uh, the ship and keeping things in order on the sails um there there's they're, the workers are constantly going on about their activities i think i just want to at least experience everything you know catch the fresh air watch them do their thing maybe the captain will let me steer the ship a little bit just kind of he can, he's like 
Come on up. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> well, <I'll> look. <laughs> At first, behind you, he's like, he's like behind you, like, oh, go like this, and then he kind of lets you go and lets you steer it. And, uh, go ahead and roll. Um, <laughs> go ahead and roll. You oh, don't no. have the skill I for it. Um, I mean, I can hold the wheels. St- the the wheel steady, right? <laughs> but go ahead and roll a. Um, Damn it. <laughs> if there's a rock. I'm gonna roll, end this trip a, real short. Roll a wisdom. Roll a wisdom. A I'm wisdom? Sorry. Oh, crap. Oh, we had that one. Oh, like, like, like this? And you start to, like, spin completely, like, off towards the shore. And he has to like step in and go. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, no, 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 I got no, excited. Oh, come on, uh, no, sorry, no, no, no. I got excited. Uh, I, I, I know horses. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the ship goes a little bit off course, but he kind of steers it back. I uh, keep practicing on your own ship, baby. I'm, yeah, I'm no, really... sure, my own ship. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, no worries. Kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> that bad, Willa? Was it? Did it do that bad? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It didn't crash. So, yeah, it didn't yeah. crash. Almost. Yeah, it's fine. Really yeah. close. Right. <laughs> He's the idiot letting a kid. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. right. We kind of navigate down at one point to to uh, Anton. What what are, what are you doing down there? Anton's pissed because he just spilled his beer a little bit. Seems to be just you and Phil down there. You seem to be yeah, all he, the two of you really connecting. Yeah, we are. This, there's already some back slapping and laughing going on. <laughs> Anton's happy. <to> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's, that's so funny. Anton, this guy, I like him. It's, ah, it's, it's like drinking hard. And... It's like funny, funny like a jester. <laughs> you can see <laughs> am I funny am I a clown to you um, no you can see Phil is being the dwarf he is he's a drinker and um, he will take any excuse to keep going um, seeing that you're down with him um, almost no. um, enjoying life a little much and also perhaps ignoring some of his duties as he's just like enjoying the <laughs> Uh, when we start to hear, actually? when we start hearing him sing, I want to tell Willa like maybe we should check on him. Make sure he's <laughs> <there>. <laughs> he is drinking with a dwarf. I'm not, you know, I don't want to be that way, but uh, I'm sure Anton will stop him. Us, we should get us some food in his stomach or something. <laughs> get him some fish. Yeah, some fish. <laughs> What's Razik doing? Yeah. He is casting a line out that it and it, it's night right correct it is daytime as you daytime? can see before you okay well yes. um regardless i'm going to uh, have a line out and uh i'm razik is just kind of like dangling his legs along the side of the side of the boat and he's got a line um just sort of bobbing in the distance not quite trolling, like he's like reeling it in when he needs to and recasting it, but. Okay, go ahead and roll a um, dexterity check. No. Oh my god, I got a that one! Not used to being on the water. It's a boot. Any, it's all a boot. <laughs> having any luck, you don't know what you're doing. You're kind of casting a line out, and you're pretending I got something. that you're, but you're not catching anything. You're not catching anything. Um, eventually, evening does begin to fall. And um, I guess later. Transition there. I was going to say it's getting dark below deck. (laughs) 
comes night once again, as well as there we go. Get some uh, weather effects here. Trying to get some rain. Oh. This is looking really cool. <laughs> okay, good. All right, we got some. Got to get everything in place here. I'm just gonna go upstairs to check on everybody. Check out the weather effect. <laughs> hey, are are you okay? Catch anything? You were down there for a while. Huh? You catch Look anything? No. Huh? Hey. What? Which one? I see three of you. Oh. Boy. <laughs> it's dark up here and it's raining. Had you had you had anything to eat, Anton? Do, do I what? Did you have anything to eat? While you were no. drinking, no. Well, oh. there's, a there's a sandwich in every glass. Oh, oh yeah, you do say that. Dang, that's right. <laughs> I, I forgot you do say that. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody standing out in the rain? Oh, it just feels good. I almost crashed the boat. I was trying to catch some fish, but <laughs> yeah. I keep on catching these damn boots. Oh, you're the one who spilled my beer? Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Sorry. What did you say, you're asking? You're going to eat a boot? I, I, I keep on that. catching boots. Yeah. Well, bon appetit. <laughs> yeah. But oh, if man, I put it in a tells... boiling pot, you'd be like all into that. That's like gourmet to you. Some uh, soldier humor. You fucking shit. <laughs> Fight a man. You hear the. Uh, <laughs> you hear Phil kind of call out. We got a lot of weather up ahead of us. I want to get down and get dry. Call it a night. Do you need us to secure any, like, masks to any, like, um, whatever masks are secured to? I don't know. Tie everything down. Like, do you need any help with that? You said you were really, like, shorthanded earlier, so, you know. No, we I want to strike a good balance between believing in you, but also, like, you know, being good arbiters of our own destiny. If you're willing to help, go ahead and secure some of the sails. He doesn't know how to do. <laughs> uh, look towards yeah, the most right. drunk Anton that I have ever seen. Very good. <laughs> go yeah. The most drunk Anton. What do you say to do? I will call it a night. Oh, I just cast hey, control you... weather. I don't have control weather. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we we maybe we shouldn't get in their way if we don't know how to do the. I agree. High and down stuff, right? I almost crashed the boat. <laughs> I suppose. It's fine, it's fine. I'm oh, sorry, I just can't, I can't stop thinking about it. It was very embarrassing. That, uh, you took it for a joy, right? It's fine. It's it's part of every like young woman's experience. Are you someone Anton, are you gonna come back inside? Are you okay? Yeah, if someone needs to throw a tarp over that police car. Oh, I'm sure that they'll they'll be able to take care of it, man. Why don't you come back inside? Maybe we'll, right. we'll get a, a real too. sandwich. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of no, no. This way, <laughs> turn him around towards the actual thing. <laughs> this way. No, 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 no. Sorry, no, sorry, no, no. Guys, here. No, no, This way, this way. Yeah. <laughs> I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> You guys, Phil is awesome. You gotta meet Phil. And with that, you go downstairs, and um, we are unfortunately out of time. I can just watch you guys, uh, you know, walk around the entire entire ship endlessly. 
Um, <laughs> we um, we did not unfortunately meet our goal of of a hundred for Doctor Without Borders, but rest assured, uh, we got we raised twenty dollars, and that's going to go directly to the foundation. But thank you everyone to who who did uh, donate for that. Um, we're going to keep it up. You can you can donate for um, you know past this broadcast um, for another week. We're gonna have it up. So um, if you're catching this on YouTube or something like that, go check it out. Go donate if you'd like, and uh, you can still donate. So um, Tales of Terramir will be back in two weeks on Wednesday, December twenty seventh, with episode thirty nine. You can look for this episode on YouTube and podcast platforms for the next few days. We'll have a rerun on Twitch next week on December 20th. Join us right now, everyone, for Discord after our four after show discussion. We'll talk about everything that happened. And um, thank you for watching and listening, everyone. Good night. And happy holidays. Arms. Happy holidays. Arms make a dragon. <laughs>